How's it going movie fans? The 10th of February 2024 is the 50th birthday of actress, director and producer Elizabeth Banks. Banks' first on-screen acting role came in 1998. In the 10 years that followed, Banks' star began to rise with a number of supporting roles in popular movies and starring roles in films which have become cult classics. Banks has proven herself more than capable of tackling a range of genres, having success as both a comedic and dramatic actress. Banks currently has five projects in production as an actress and one as a director. Here are the five world's top 10 Elizabeth Banks movies. At number 10 is Role Models. When a fight lands salesman Danny and Wheeler in hot water, they are forced to sign up for a Big Brother program where they are paired up with a couple of very different but equally troublesome youths. Banks plays Beth, Danny's girlfriend who ends the relationship due to Danny's behaviour, but organises his release from prison. The runtime's 99 minutes and Role Models has a full rating of 7 out of 10. At number 9 is Pitch Perfect. In the first instalment of the Pitch Perfect film series, after arriving at university, aspiring musician Becca Mitchell is recruited by the Barden Bellas, an all-girl competitive a cappella group. The Bellas are in desperate need of a shake-up after failure at the previous year's competition. Banks plays Gail Abernathy McCadden, a commentator for the competition. The runtime's 112 minutes, and Pitch Perfect has a full rating of 7.1. At number 8 is Invincible. Based on the true story of Vince Papali, who in 1976 is a 30 year old bartender who attends an open tryout for players looking to join NFL team the Philadelphia Eagles. Banks plays Janet Cantrell, a fellow bartender who goes out on a date with Papali, but he's unsure about getting into a relationship. The runtime's on 5 minutes, and Invincible has a full rating of 7.2. At number 7 is Sea Biscuit. Based on the non-fiction book released in 1999, titled Sea Biscuit: An American Legend, this sports film depicts horse Sea Biscuit, who becomes an unlikely success story due to his small size after trainer Tom Smith sees his potential. Banks plays Marcella Zabala, who becomes the second wife of businessman Charles Howard. The runtime's 140 minutes, and Sea Biscuit has a full rating of 7.2. At number 6 is Slither. Set in the small town of Willsey, South Carolina, this sci-fi comedy horror sees a sentient parasite carried to Earth on a meteor. Banks plays Starla Grant, the wife of local businessman Grant Grant, who becomes the first host to the malevolent parasite and begins to transform into a zombified monster. This leads Starla on a mission to save the town. The runtime is 95 minutes, and Slither has a full rating of 7.3. At number 5 is the Spider-Man trilogy. In Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy, which helped to launch the superhero film genre, Banks plays Betty Brand, who works at the Daily Bugle newspaper and is the secretary of J. Jonah Jameson. Meanwhile, after being bitten by a radioactive spider, high school student Peter Parker becomes web-slinging superhero Spider-Man. The runtime is 387 minutes, and the Spider-Man trilogy has a full rating of 7.6. At number 4 is The 40-Year-Old Virgin. In this romantic comedy, Andy Stitzer is shy, reserved, and living alone when he accidentally reveals that at 40 years old, he is yet to have sex. This leads Andy's co-workers to make it their mission to get him laid. Banks plays Beth, a bookstore clerk who becomes intrigued by Andy, leading to a wild night together. The runtime's on 16 minutes, and the 40-year-old virgin has a full rating of 8. At number 3 is Love and Mercy. This biopic depicts two periods in the life of Beach Boys co-founder and leader Brian Wilson, alternating between the 1960s and 1980s, showing the impact of mental illness on the musician's life. Banks plays Melinda Ledbetter, a car saleswoman who meets Wilson in the 80s and develops a relationship with him. The runtime's 121 minutes, and Love and Mercy has a full rating of 8.2. At number 2, is the Lego Movie. In this animated adventure comedy, construction worker Emmett Brokowski, who has spent his life fitting in, gets mixed up with Wildstyle, voiced by Banks, a tech-savvy master builder, and is told that he might be the prophesied special and must stop the evil lord business from destroying the Lego universe. The runtime's 100 minutes, and the Lego Movie has a full rating of 8.7. At number one is Catch Me If You Can. Adapted from the semi-autobiographical book of the same name, which tells the alleged true story of Frank Abagnale Jr., who between the ages of 15 and 21 forged checks, took on a number of different identities and avoided capture by the FBI. Banks has a small role as Lucy, a bank teller who interacts with Frank. The runtime's on 41 minutes, and Catch Me If You Can has a file rating of 8.8. Thanks for watching. Next week, I'll be counting down the files top 10 Hal Holbrook movies, and if you enjoyed this list, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.